All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back. We are on to the final video of the Theory 11 card set. Um, these are all the cards that I picked up from Theory 11. If you haven't checked out the previous videos yet, go take a look at them. We did go over the Star Wars ones, the Cyberpunk, uh, sorry, not Cyberpunk, goodness gracious, the Steel Steampunk ones. We got over here, um, the Synthesis ones, once again, probably my favorite set here. Um, these Archangel ones are my second favorite set that I've done so far. Um, the World Wildlife funds. Also, previous to this, I did do a series of, on cards that I got from Elephant Playing Cards. Pretty dope as well. If you haven't checked those ones out, go give them a look skis. And, uh, yeah. So today... What we are looking at... The piece of the resistance, the one that got me really interested in taking a look at 311. Um, these are the NPH playing cards. That's right. These are the Neil Patrick Harris limited edition, courtesy of Neil Patrick Harris, right there. Premium playing cards. Made in the United States, courtesy of Neil Patrick Harris. So, yeah. Yee yeah, boy! Now, the thing about these is that they're supposed to just be littered with little secrets and nuances and details. So hopefully I can do this unboxing justice without making it like 30 minutes. Uh, and uh, there's going to be so much in here that I, I'm, I can tell you already I'm going to miss. So go, 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 go. Pick up these cards if they're still in stock, if you can find them anywhere. Because um, good chance they're already gone. I got these again a month ago, <laughs> two months ago, several months ago. Hold on. Gotta do the job for them sometimes. There we go. A little tear streak going. Please tear. Please. Why do you like this? Why are we like this today? Okay. There it is. Okay, so let me get the little. First off, I like the feel of this box. It almost has like this velvet finish. And of course, everything is embossed. You can feel it right through the, the playing, like the plastic there. But there's a nice touch to it. It's a nice feel. I dig it, dig it. Very carefully. These are for this side first. There we go. Jiggle, jiggle, because that usually helps it to come out just a little easy. There it goes. All right, so in for Neil and the little light bulb there. The sparks. That's cool. Oh, that is a dope under flap. That is so sweet. Look at that. Is, ah, I love geometric patterns. Makes me hard. All right. All the way out. Get both of these here. So the first thing we're going to take a look at... Um, don't know if these are actually marked or not. Very most likely are. Um, first off, this is Theory 11 right there. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just like the back of the box, but lock up there, a lock down there. Yeah, trademark, that's cool. It says trademark theory 11 NPH with the moons and the crystal ball. Okay. And here is the front. Joker says theory 11 or TH11. TXI, I guess, should be theory 11 and then NPH for Neil Patrick Harris or nine pound hammer, depending on your take. Eyes ace there, NPH. Why are you no focus? It just does not like this light. I'm starting to think it's might be. I'm gonna just, ah, I should probably turn off one of these lights here sooner. Because it doesn't, I think that's what it is. It doesn't like the sheen. I'd say they're basic pit cards, but they're not. I mean, look at that too. That too has some style to it with a little Tucci there. And the ace, or the, the spade with the. Definitely some artistic touch on that. I like that. 
Make sure the numbers have a new, nice, elegant, that's the word I'm looking for, elegant look to them. So these are supposed to be, like, I kind of dig it. Like, it's not just your normal jack, by any means. Like, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be somebody. Mm. Not necessarily your normal ones, but okay. Wow, well... I definitely like the, the the pips in the face and the numbers. Um, these aren't anything terribly special. It's supposed to be filled with detail. Like they, they that's what they really pushed. It's like, oh my gosh, there's gonna be so much for you to discover. And honestly, they look just like every other faith card that I've seen. Just disappointing. Disappoint. But again, I like the. Uh, let's take a look at the diamond faces. Yeah, so I like the the numeral, the pips on the numerals. There's your suicidal king. I don't know. Wow, well that was underwhelming. Go ahead and smash that dislike button. Uh, Cause there was really not much to it, as much as it should be. Unless I totally missed something. Because, right, so here's this. This is going to be a challenge. Just as a spider spins its web, I've taken a page out of Cardano's book and created a puzzle. Look upon photos and images inside this deck. Kay's having a nightmare. You can do this, just look closely at the cards. Good luck in PH. Okay. And the soup thickens. So, the first thing we see here is, is ace, jack, club, heart. On this side, or down here I should say, we've got diamond, spades, queen, king. And then we have what appears to be a series of different diamonds. We got two, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, and two again. Okay. It's weird. So, like, this would imply, like, if you were to overlap them, that you want the, like, Ace of Diamonds, Jack of Spades, Queen of Clubs, and King of Hearts, right? Or the other way of looking at it is, which is the focus of actually kind of fucked. It would be the Ace of Ace of Clubs, Jack of Hearts. Jack of Spades. Take a look at the Jack of Spades. I'm not even sure. Like, what are we looking for? NBH? What's going on here? Something on the back, maybe? Okay, I wouldn't think he would do it. Okay. What about the King of Spades? So here's the King of Spades. One thing I noticed about him is that he's got the spades on his uniform too, right? Just, I mean, the Crescent Moon's kind of in his handle there. Because I'm 
please, thank you. Huh. Okay, so... I, 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 I. And even if you go back and take a look at the Queen of Spades, I'm not seeing anything super special there. I'm trying to see if there's something... Or if, all of a sudden look at the Jokers, and I'm not necessarily seeing anything special about the Jokers either. Um, Ty. Well, so really here, this one might be the Queen of Diamonds, is what we're we'll looking at. Which doesn't reveal anything. Or the Ace of Diamonds, which. In fact, the only ace that's different in any of this is that ace. Let's see if I look at this ace. That light bulb, the other place we see that light bulb is right there. Or maybe it's just... Hold on. Take a quick look and be very disappointed when we realize that, yeah, there's nothing. Nothing in the box. Like, I thought there may be a Shimpton written down there. And I see nothing. Wait, wait. wait. I can tell that's just the embossing. Yeah, it's just the embossing. Hold on, folks. We got a flashlight. Yeah. Yep, can confirm nothing special on the inside of the box. Okay. <sighs> so back to this card. This whole secret, or it's just a decoy. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. You know, I'm, I legit just think that th there's actually... Ah, oh, you didn't see anything. Dang it, the whole thing just shuffled itself, so we gotta unshuffle that off camera. But I legit just think that uh, he's playing mind games with us, and it's just like... Oh yeah, my cards. They've got something hidden in them. And you're like, oh really, MVH? What could it be? And he's like, you're just gonna have to look and see. And you're like, all right, challenge accepted. And really, there's nothing. You, you just you just spent the lot the next 12, 20 hours staring at his cards and got duped into buying them. When really, there's nothing. And that's the trap. The trap is being is being convinced that there's something special into them and buying them when really there's no reason to. But don't take my word word for it. Who knows? It could very well uh, have something super cool with these going on that I am just not picking up. Um, and by all means, if that is the case, I want you to go and get these cards, check them out for yourself, report back to me, let me know what I'm missing. Put in the comments, be like, yo, Tyler, you idiot. How could you not clearly see that this means this and you gotta look at these two cards and 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 it's just one big joke. It's a big dad joke. And that'll probably be the end of it. But anyways, that is the end of my theory 11 cards. Uh, thank you so much for going along on this journey here. And um, stick around. 
because we do have more hopefully coming up if I can will myself I'm gonna go take a quick break ski but I gotta, I'm gonna try and will myself to get through these ones that I picked up from playingcarddecks.com including this surprise one as well as so we have legitimately shoot 12 yeah there's a 12 decks in there Plus the extra one they gave me, so they gave me, sent me a baker's dozen from them. And then I want to say there's at least five decks in there. Plus uh, that collectible, non-collectible edition, conditioned one. Um, to check that out. So stick around for that. Once again, if you like these videos, do the YouTube things. Um, and hopefully we'll see you around. Thanks again. Go check out my last videos and check out my next ones.